What is up, YouTube? My name is Gene, bringing you guys part three for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, don't forget, follow me on Twitch at Jeans25 as I stream every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday for you guys to turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. So guys, in the last episode, we actually completed our first dungeon, obtained the Full Moon Cello, and after that, Bow Wow the Chain Chomp went missing. So in this episode, we're actually going to be rescuing him and doing some side quests. To start off, we're actually going to be going right to the fisherman, right here. We're going back to fishing where we left off, and we're going to be catching a fish that we didn't get last time with a nice heart piece in it. So we're just going to pay her 10 rupees and all this, and this music is annoying me, and it keeps playing until you rescue Chain Chomp, well, Bow Wow the Chain Chomp, but... First and foremost, we're going to catch ourselves one of these nice little green fish. So we're going to try to get that one on the bottom. We're going to eat it on down here. Get tugged. And get away, fish. Yes, we're going to try to get past him right here. <laughs> you better not go for it. I'm going to be mad. All right, it's good. This one is for you down there, buddy. Come on, we're tugging over here. Let's go. Oh, we're going to hit him right on the head. Yeah, boy. Come on, there he goes. He's looking at it. He took the bait. We're going to let him swim away and start mashing A. The quicker you tap A, the quicker you reel in. So we're just going to keep mashing it right here and try to get him. Come on. Get in here, boy. Get him. Yo, dude, this fishing mini game is so fun, yo. I can just play this thing all day. <laughs> let's go. Let's get it. Come on. Get up here. We almost got him. We got this boy in the bag. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we got him. He's a big and look at him. Nice big size green fish. You reeled in a big fish. It's so heavy that you wish you caught something lighter. Wow, a 20.61 inch fish. That's a lunker. <laughs> nice one. That's worth 17 rupees. Easy. For landing a lunker, I'll set you up with a new lure. Boom, we got ourselves a new lure. This is the middle weight lure. So now we can actually catch a bigger fish and all that and go a little bit deeper in the water. This is the first time you land at one of this. One this size, huh? Let's mark this occasion with a piece of heart. There we go. This is what I wanted to get in the last episode, but we messed up and it actually like despawned. So we're good. So now we're done fishing right here and we got to go back to the trendy game shop, the little uh, claw machine, and we got to pick up a few things and then we're going to go start saving Bow Wow. So let's get grooving on over here, back down here and just listen to this music and all that because it's just the best jam ever. There's mama over there complaining that Mr. Chain Chomp's missing. Here we go. We actually have to head back down here, right over here, just the building that I was talking about, chop up this grass right here, look, we'll play him, we'll play him. Make our way inside here. Now that we make our way into the claw machine, we're gonna talk to this guy, spend our 10 rupees, and we're gonna be trying to win that Yoshi doll in order to start the biggest quest in the game, which is the trading side quest. So once we get him, we're gonna have to trade for all other stuff. I explained this in the last episode, but we're gonna go for him right now. Do I head over here now? Did I pay? Did I even pay? Oh, there we go, we did. We just have to go over to the buttons and get ready. Let's get it. Let's play this, dude. We gotta get this Yoshi doll. Okay, so X is up. It's looking good. Is that good? Come on, get that Yoshi doll. Come on, I think we gotta be spot on to get him. I don't think this will get him. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. No, man. <laughs> we just missed him, but now he is laying on his side. We're gonna pay again and get that sucker. So all we have to do is just move it to the right, right? That should be money. We're just going to tap X real quick. There we go. And that opens it up. That's got to get it. That's got to get it. Look how perfect that is. This year, if she comes out, we're done. We're not playing this game ever again. Yeah, look at that grab. That's a mean grab right there. And we get ourselves the nice Yoshi doll. It's actually a, she a seashell that we can actually get right now. Oh, dang it. I just paid extra. But we're going to go for the seashell now because I paid extra. Oh, come on, dude. That is money right there. Give me that seashell. I was actually planning on getting that later, but we'll take it right now. Because by accident, I hit yes, I'll play again. So, might as well use my grab real quick to get it. <gasps> Are you kidding me? What kind of game is this? What kind of game is this? We're not playing. That was like the most perfect grab, and we didn't even get that. But there we go. We obtain ourselves this Yoshi doll right here. And now I actually want to go back outside and come right back in and new items will actually respawn because I want to get one more thing before we go. We actually have 10 or 15 rupees left, so we got to get it on this try right here. Once you exit out after winning the Yoshi doll, this little kid over here says, Whoa, you won the Yoshi doll? We've been trying to do that forever. Our mom is really desperate to have one. 
So this is how you kind of know, like start the little trading side quest. You go up and trade to the mom. But see how new items respawn over here? We want that little chain chomp right there with the bow tie. So we're going to go for it. Hopefully we can get it on this first try. That'd be great. Because I don't feel like going to go uh, farm rupees and all that. But we're going to go for it right here, right now. Let's get it. That's looking good. That's looking real good. That's looking real good. Come on. Give me that chain chomp. It's a pretty good grab. Pretty good grab. That's laying right in there. That's laying right in there. Come on. Don't fall out. That's money grab. That is money grab. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. So now that we got this, this is actually a collectible right here. So it's pretty cool. So I'll show you guys in just a second. You have to collect all these different things and everything and put them on pedestals throughout this whole land of... Is this... Of Koholan Island. I was going to call it Hyrule for a second, but this is a chow chow figure. There must be somewhere you could display it. So, there we go. Now that we finished this, we can actually start the trading side quest just a little bit. There's like, I don't even know how many different trades there are, but we're going to do the first one right here. We can come to this grass right here and actually get some rupees, which is pretty nice here. You get whooping. What's up? What's up? Get out of my face, dude. But guys, this game has been so much fun already. Like, these 2D games are just the bomb. Like, this is one of my favorite games for the Nintendo Switch so far. This is probably, in my opinion, a must-have for the Nintendo Switch. But now we're going to make our way up towards this way. There's past the shop. That's the shop right there. We haven't gone in it yet because we don't need anything from it. And if we make our way up here, this is the mom's house that the kid was just talking about. And she wants the Yoshi doll right here. So, we make our way over here. She's carrying this little baby right here. We can actually talk to her. Oh, will you give me that Yoshi doll? Oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my baby? Of course we will. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, I will give you this in return. She gives us this bow tie right here. You trade the Yoshi doll for a ribbon. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. This is hinting at we got to do other things. Well, other trades and all that. But as you can tell, this ribbon isn't exact. Like, it looks exactly like the one on that Chow Chow figure. So if you, we actually make our way over this way right here. You can actually come over here into this little shop. And I talked to this uh, little chain chomp off screen and she was telling how she wants like accessories and everything. We can actually trade it, trade it the ribbon. So this is Chow Chow. It says makeup, jewelry, dresses. I want it all. Oh, that ribbon. I need it. Will you trade me for my dog food? <laughs> of course. And now look how pretty Chow Chow looks. Lucky. Thanks. Well, here's your dog food. Bang. Now we get dog food and we can actually start trading that for other things, but we'll just trade it on our way. Oh, but actually when we got that piece of heart from fishing, we actually got another heart container, which is awesome. But now we can actually head into the room over here. And there's this little pedestal chilling here. And we can actually check it. It says, is that, is this a stand for something? It says Chow Chow. Place the Chow Chow figure here? Heck yeah, we want to place it. So now we place the Chow Chow figure there. And we're done with that. That's just, that's just what you got to do if you want 100% this game. Okay, with all that little side quest done, we can actually start making our way to where Bao Bao is missing at. So we gotta actually make our way back through the mysterious forest this way, face off against some enemies. But we're good, we got five hearts now. What's good, man? Stupid pig. <laughs> Look at us, we ripping on these piggy boys. <laughs> what you want? What you want, yo? Get out of my face. Look, we gotta head this way, and then up this way should be the fairy fountain. Oh, get out of my face, dude. Get shielding over here. Block him, block him again, bang. Get moving along up here. Actually, we don't need to go towards the fairy fountain. Oh, no, it got me. It slowed me down. This is the exact way I want to go. Beat up on this pig right here. Get grooving along this way. Get out of my face. So, as you guys remember, in the first episode... Was it the first episode? Yeah, we had this little heart container that is just, like, surrounded by all these holes. But now that we got Rock's Feather, we can actually yeet over it and grab ourselves this heart container, which is awesome. That is so nice. There we go. With that heart container grabbed, we actually want to head this way and hop over here. And right over here is the Tao Tao Heights. So if we make a right right here, we can actually talk to this little beak statue right here. The windfish, in name only for it, is neither. What? Wait, what the heck? That just say? Did I read that wrong? The windfish, in name only for it, is neither. Okay, I read that right, but we can actually head inside this little, like, dungeon area. And this is where Bow Bow, or Bow Wow, Bow Bow, I forget it, is located. Eh? Who's this suspicious looking run? Okay, boys, let's get rid of them. So now we have like this little dungeon right here. Not even like a dungeon, just like a little battle floor right here. We're gonna have to face off against these little mob ones. Get out of my face, dude! Block his shots. Get ripping on them. And each time you defeat them, it opens the door and we can head to the next one and face off against all these other ones. What's up? Get him! Get him! Get out of my face! Block all their spears. Oh! Oh! Boy, dude! We just walked on three of them at the same time. 
But now we can actually make our way into this, and we got a little boss little area right here. You must be an assassin sent by Madam Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. <laughs> you came here to get me, but it, it is I who will get you. So now, we got face off against him. He has this little spear and all that. We block it, run up on him, let him run, dodge attack, let him hit the wall. We can start piecing him up. What's good, dog? Block his spear, get out of my face. Let him run. Oh! As you can tell, he runs and stops now. So, now we have to actually figure out how to get him. But if you actually pull out your rock's feather, let him run towards you. We can actually jump at the last second, dodge it, let him hit the wall and start beating on him. What's up, dog? Get out of here. Go ahead, run at me. Yee! Oh, we didn't dodge a jump. Come on, punk! Yee! There we go. We can actually finish him off here. No, we didn't finish him off. I thought that would. Come on. Come at me, fool! Yee! Let's go, boy. Yee! Come on. There we go. Finish him off here. And he will actually break up and, like, exploit and all that. And he actually drops a fairy. And like in the last episode, we got this bottle that we equipped with X. We can actually go up to these fairies and scoop them up in a bottle. These things are so valuable. So whenever we lose all of our hearts and we die, this fairy will actually revive us from the death, which is awesome. So I'm actually going to, um, we're going to go into our inventory and switch that out with our magic powder so we don't use it on accident. But right here, we found them. Our boy, Bow Wow. You saved Bow Wow. What a fearsome beast. So now that we saved him, he's actually connected to us now. We can actually keep moving along with the main story. But look at him. He's actually going to come in clutch. He's going to help us out for our main story. You guys will see in just a minute. But we can actually escape this little cavern right here and get moving along. Come on, Bow Wow. Do my boy. Now my boy the owl comes out after completing that little side mission. Here he is. <laughs> Hoot, that is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in the Gapanga Swamp. So he just lets us know we gotta head to the Gapanga Swamp, which is left of here, so... We're gonna do that in just a second. But in the meantime, we're gonna actually walk over here and talk to this dude. We just wanna talk to him, just to unlock, like, little things. His name is Dompe. Hey, you made it out here? That speaks well of you. Maybe you can help me out with a little job. I'm Dompe, and my job around this island is to dig up interesting stuff. When you have some time to spare, come see me in the shack over there. Okay, so he did like a little rhyme. He just lets us know that he's in the shack over there. But we just want to talk to him real quick. We're going to break up this stuff right here. See if we get any rupees. Nope. Look at those pigs. They're enemies we haven't seen before. But we are actually going to head right down here real quick and obtain another piece of heart. This is the Tabal Wasteland. And look, we got these little crows that come after us. Like, what you want, fool? Come here, crow. Get out of my face. These crows are very annoying and pretty strong. And look, did you see Bow Wow? He just ripped on everybody. We got these little crows right here again. Let them fly down and start ra ra ripping on them. <laughs> Excuse me. But as you can see, this heart container is right here. We can actually use our rock's feather to hop over these little holes and obtain this heart piece. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. We're going to hop back over here and get moving along to Gapanga Swamp. So in order to get to Gapanga Swamp, we actually have to head back to where we were just at back in the mysterious forest. So there's Kaponga Swamp right here, but we cannot actually enter it from this way because there's rocks and we cannot lift them yet. So we're gonna have to actually hop back over here to Koholnit Prairie and then make a left back into the forest right here and get whooping on these moblins. What's up? Oh, oh, Bow Wow just gave him the ripping, Joe. Let's go. What you want? What you want, fool? Look at these little boys. Look, dude. Oh my God, they stuck me. But Bow Wow is a beast. He just rips up everybody. But we actually make our way this way, and we can hop over here, take a little shortcut into the chest where we got the tail key. And actually make our way over here, rip up on this fool, and make our way up here. We're actually going to hop over here and talk to this little the guy inside here, just to, just to see what's going on. So we come in here. His name is Mr. Wright. Well, I pretty much stick to myself, me and my letters. My name's Wright. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. So that just lets us know, like... Kind of like further missions. He is actually part of the trade mission. I'll just let you guys know now. And we can actually make our way over here. And oh my god, he just ripped up the new enemy. Those enemies right there, you can actually see them over there. They look like little like suction cup cup kind of things. They actually like eat you and take all your rupees. Well, not all of them, but a good amount. But we have made it to the Kapanga Swamp. And we are actually going to like start making our way to the little entrance there. And this is why you need change out. This is what I was talking about. He comes out here and he starts eating every everybody. Get out of here, dude. He helps us out so much. So we're waiting for these little piranha fish right here to jump. Then we can whack them up, kill them real quick. What's up? What you want, fool? 
We can actually start beating on all these things and get them, chomp. Bow Wow, do something. There you go. He eats all that stuff. Man, this game has, like, that's the only downside to this game. Like, as you can tell, we got some frame droppage right here, which is kind of annoying. But get him. Where's Bow Wow out? Bow Wow, we need you here. Rip them up. And we can make our way to these little thorns right here and grab ourselves this chest, which we have a nice purple rupee, which is 50 rupees, which is awesome. Now we can actually make our way down towards this way. Why did the frames load in yet? Like, geez, that's the only downside to this game is the frame drop. So you have frame drops every here and there. There we go. The frames are back now. We can actually rip up this guy in Kaponga Swamp and grab this piece of power that we don't really need right now. Yee, baby. We actually run faster and we can rip up this fish real quick. Oh, he hit me. Thank you, Mr. Chomp. See, Mr. Chomp, Bow Wow, actually, like, makes the entrance and everything. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new, you subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be taking on our second dungeon at the Kaponga Swamp. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.